But I'm about to show you that I can actually project directly to this Surface Book as though it was just another dumb screen. To do that, I'm going to connect wirelessly. So if you can see the phone, I'm going to pull down Action Center and click the Connect button, if I can find it. This Connect button brings up an app that searches for all of the wireless audio and video endpoints around me. You can see here my Surface Book. So I'm going to go ahead and connect to that. We'll give it a second. And here we go. I have a toast that says, can my phone connect to this? Yes, it can. And here we have my Windows phone projecting directly to my Surface Book as though it was a totally different screen. I'm not actually running any apps locally on the device. I am only projecting apps that are running on my phone onto this device. So now I can continue to use this Surface Book as though it was my personal device powering only my applications with my data um, on top of the rest of the operating system. So you can actually look here. I could um, literally minimize the window that the, app, that the phone is running in. And I'll show you this. But this is just a window that I'm projecting to on the Windows operating system. So the desktop is still existing completely independently. So for the sake of the demo, I'm going to re-maximize this window. So my boss had asked me to edit this file. And so I was like, OK, great, I can do that. Um, and I knew that the file is in Dropbox, because that's what uh, people sometimes use for work. I'm sure some of you guys use Dropbox for work. And I love using Dropbox because they have a beautiful universal Windows platform application. Um, so because I have that, it automatically works beautifully on Continuum. And so here I can open up the presentation that my boss wanted me to edit. And I could preview it in Dropbox. They have a great preview feature. But I'm actually going to go ahead and open the document in PowerPoint by going to Open With. And here you can see that it will open in PowerPoint, which again is a universal Windows platform application. So it scales and reflows and looks beautiful on the big screen. And to add the slide that she wants me to add, I'm going to scroll down. She wants me to add a chart to a slide that looks like this. So I can duplicate this slide just like I would be able to on a PC. I'm actually going to go ahead and open Excel so I can copy and paste the slide from there. And here, I'm going to use the keyboard to click Control-C and Alt-Tabbed back to PowerPoint, Control-V. Uh, one sec. Oh, no. Sorry, guys. The demo gods don't want me to copy and paste today. Use a context menu. Beautiful. So I can drop my chart in there with copy and paste, just like a PC, even though this is running powered by my phone. Great. OK, so here's Shadowfight. I am the guy in the blue. And right now, you can't see it, but I am using this keyboard. I'll just hold it up to move the guy around. And um, I can basically use this to beat this guy up. And I'm really bad at games, so I apologize. He's probably going to win. Um, <laughs> but this works really well with keyboard and mouse. But you know, I'm really bad at this, and this is awkward. So I really would like to be able to use this Xbox controller, which luckily, with this Continuum dock, I can do that now. And so I can actually pick this controller up. I can beat this guy up with the, the, the A and B buttons like I would expect to. And I can play this game full force. Look how beautiful the graphics are like this with my Xbox controller plugged directly into my Continuum dock.